What's going on smart people? Today is the last day that I can study before my quantum final. So right now in the background what I have is some perturbation theory where we have spin coupled to angular momentum, that being the perturbing potential, and then just calculating uh, shifts in the energy. The studying is wrapping up. I just have to do one more discussion problem set and then rework the last exam and then I should more or less be prepared. My exam is at 12.30 tomorrow but I'm trying to fight the urge to uh, keep studying until the exam actually starts. I have a tendency to do that. I'd really like to just get it all done today and then go into the exam completely, you know, clear in my head and finish up the semester strong. Now I'm on the final thing that I'm studying for this exam. It's just going over the last midterm and I cleared up a lot of confusion that I used to have. Whenever I'd be doing some kind of perturbation theory, what would happen is I'd have like these extra or missing factors of 4 pi and that's because we'd be given some radial wave function as our uh, unperturbed state. And I know that you're integrating over all space, so I would just throw in that factor of 4 pi because you're integrating spherically. But now it makes more sense why you don't get that factor of 4 pi because there's still the angular bit of the wave function. And orthogonality of the spherical harmonics gets rid of that 4 pi. So that's a nice little thing where I knew the mistake that I was making was having this extra factor of 4 pi so I would get rid of it but now I understand why I was getting it in the first place so that's good. The last thing that I'm going over for my last exam is stuff on Fermi gas so Fermi energy, Fermi momentum, degeneracy pressure, that kind of stuff and I realized that it's a lot easier than I thought it was it's especially when your professor gives you a specific type of integral. The one thing that was confusing me is I haven't really had much practice integrating over step functions, and for those of you who don't know, the derivative of a step function is just a delta function, but it really just fixes your limits of integration for you. It just makes it so that your independent variables aren't negative. So overall, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable with this exam. And actually, going back to the perturbation theory on the radial wave function, I just want to clarify that that does change if your perturbing Hamiltonian has angular dependence, because then that would be acting on the spherical harmonics, and then that that wouldn't exactly be true anymore, so I just wanted to clarify that so I wasn't being, you know, wrong. But I think I'm going to end the video here, that way I can proceed with the studying uh, undistracted. Might take you guys with me tomorrow just so I can show you how everyone else is feeling about the exam and then give a little bit of a before and after, because uh, that's always fun. If you've taken quantum, let me know in the comments section what your favorite thing to learn in quantum was, and if you're about to take quantum, what's the thing you're looking forward to the most? Let me know in the comments section, and I'll see you guys there.